Here is your chance to hear history in the making as the spirited Charlie Cecil shares her stories on, well, just about anything. Welcome to this podcast. Um, We don't really have an official name for it yet. My name is Charlie Cecil. I'm a proud reporter and photographer for the Mountain Advocate. So, I mean, I guess we can call it Mountain Advocate Podcast for now. That's the generic staple we're going to slap on this. But um, to get us started, the reason I wanted to do this was because um, I wanted to have a more personal platform for giving people the news and talking to people about what really goes on in our community. So it's a little more laid back. Um, Just remember that this is a test run. It might be a little iffy. Um, The main reason I'm recording this one is because I want feedback on it. I want to know, hey, I really like this about your podcast, or hey, um, you need to talk about this, or you need to talk about that, and um, it'd be nice to have some topic suggestions to see, you know, what you guys really want to talk about. But um, I have my notepad, I have my newspaper, so I think we're ready to roll. Um, just wanted to say you might hear some ambient noises. Charles is in the other room. I have him playing some Christmas music, so he can't hear me talking to myself. Um, I turned the heater off because I didn't want that noise going on. And right before I started doing this, I saw something on Facebook, and it said, uh, "'Tis the season to be freezing." Thank you for that, Linda. I saw that, and that cracked me up because it is definitely cold in here. And it started snowing a little bit today, and it was nice and pretty. I ran out there as fast as I could, got some snow on my shirt, and then ran back in here to show everyone. Um, but anyways, let's jump into it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, um, I know I've lived in Barberville my whole life, but um, a lot of you don't know me. Plus, I am a fairly new reporter, so I got a little intro. Of course, my name, Charlie Cecil. Um occupation. I'm the reporter and photographer. Um, Our other reporter is Tasha. Um, School. I went to Lay Elementary and Central Elementary. Then I went to Knox Middle. And then my first two years of high school were spent at Knox Central. And then my last two, I graduated from Barkville Independent. And it was a really great experience. I really, I'm, I'm proud of myself for making the decision to go to two different schools because I got to meet Um, new people, got to experience new things, Um, what I did in school, total band nerd, I've been in band six, uh, sixth grade, Um, and I was in the, uh, what was it called, STLP, uh, Student Technology Leadership Program my senior year, that's really how I got my start in photography, Um, thank you Raymond McGlone for that, he's the one that really pushed me to embrace my talent for for photography, so that was awesome. Um, I went to Union. I went to Union for a semester and a half, and I know this topic might come up eventually since it is a more personal podcast, but um, I went for a semester and a half, and then I had to do a medical withdrawal because I was diagnosed with UC. Um, that's ulcerative colitis. Um, a lot of people kind of know what it is, but it's closely related to Crohn's, just a few different symptoms and, you know, just a different name, really. Um, And I struggled with that for a very long time, but now I'm doing Remicade infusions and they're starting to help, so I'm on the up and up, which is great. Um, I mean, if you guys ever want to hear more about that, I wouldn't mind to talk about it. If you or someone you know, someone in your family has it, I wouldn't care at all to talk about it, Um, because that was definitely a life-changing experience for me. Um, as far as kids, I have Boots, Charlottes, and Mittens, and if you think those are weird kid names, you're right, because those are my cats. Um, I thought that was a funny joke. I was real proud of myself for that one. (laughs) You'll hear me make these really bad, punny kind of jokes, but, um, yeah, I'm a big cat person, because that's just a little thing about me. Um, this podcast, it's probably going to be really short. I just kind of wanted to do an introductory podcast and kind of what it's going to be about, what I'm going to ask from you guys. Um, But being in this job and meeting all the new people, like you think Knox County is small, but once you get into a job where you have to deal with the public, you realize, hey, there's a lot of people I've never met before. 
And that's an awesome thing, actually. It's, you know, you get to realize everyone in high school says there's nothing to do around here. Well, I beg to differ because I go and do something every day and cover an event every day. Or not every day, but close. <laughs> there's usually something to get into. Um, but I believe that um, I've always had kind of a vision in my head like oh when I graduate high school I'm gonna go to this faraway college and I'm never gonna come back but I don't I don't agree with that anymore I don't think because you know like I said being in this job I'm seeing new things and I'm meeting new people and I kind of want that's really what I want this podcast to be about is is you know Knox County you know I listen I'm a big fan of podcasts I listen to them all the time like when I get these Remicade infusions, they're three hours long, you have to find something to do. So um, I usually listen to podcasts, and the one I listen to is out of California. You know, they're talking about California things. But, you know, this is a chance for us, the people of Knox County, to communicate with each other and to discuss what's really going on in our community, the good, the bad, whatever you guys want to talk about. If you can't tell, I have a very loose interpretation I guess would be the word of how this podcast is going to be so you know any feedback or topic suggestions from you guys would be amazing I'd love to know what you guys want to hear and if it's possible I want to talk about it um I chose podcasts because if you see those uh Facebook live videos I do of the uh, picture puzzle drawing contest I'm terrible on camera but I do like to talk so (laughs) This is a perfect form of that. Um, Kicked everyone out of the office, said, go away, please. I need to be alone while I do this. So it's nice and quiet in here. Um, Like I said, I mean, I have lived in Barberville my whole life. And um, I feel like I'd be a good person to say, and well, to talk about the things that go on in Barberville and my experience and, you know, if you guys want to hear about me exclusively, I don't know why I'd want to do that. I'm not too interesting of a person. But if you would, if you'd want to know more about me, um, my experience living, living in Barberville, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to talk about that. Um, looking at my notes. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything else I'd like to say in this introductory podcast. I'll send it to the editor. We're going to see if I've stumbled through this or if they say, yeah, that's a great beginning podcast. Go ahead and post that. Um, But feedback is super appreciated. Um, You can email me, um, message me on Facebook. I mean, you know my name. That's all I need for Facebook. Um, If you want to email me, it's ccecil, C-C-E-C-I-L, at mountainadvocate.com. You can email me like, hey, your podcast, it's a good idea. Keep going with it. Or, hey, that's terrible. Don't do that anymore. Or just things you'd like to hear me talk about. And this podcast can really progress and it can be something that everyone can get into. Not just um, older people, not just younger people. Everyone. Well, I guess that's it. Um, I will eventually come up with some super catchy outro saying but for now i'm going to turn this off and i'm going to go to a meeting thanks guys